my name is Roddy Schrock, and I run the uh, residencies and fellowships here at iBeam, as well as the public programs. Um, iBeam is an organization that's been around for about 15 years now, and from the beginning has set out to support artists that are working with technology or technologists that are creating art. Um, in general, this is a sort of uh, non, uh, sort of, uh, it's a free space for the creation of, of new projects around art and technology, and it's meant to support that in the, in the broadest sense possible. Um, from the beginning, this organization has strongly supported work that has an element of an open source uh, ethos to it. Um, the idea being, or I, the idea coming from the open so source software movement from uh, the uh, the 90s and, and, and prior to that, but that kind of open source software movement has opened up into a larger thinking about what it means to uh, open technology in general, to allow the culture at large to think about how it wants to use technology, whether it wants to break it open, hack it, deflect it, think about it, um, or totally recreate it in a way that uh, hadn't been seen before. So we, we strongly believe in the uh, idea of, of hackers, um, and again, in the broadest sense of the word, um, people that creatively misuse technology to uh, open up new ideas of its use. Um, and that, that approach is seen in all of the work that we support, whether it be from sound art projects to um, hardware structures. The organization has supported the sound in interesting ways from the beginning. And I think more than ever, especially in this time of everything being available on the internet, uh, the, the, the notion of physical space as a, um, an important component to uh, experiencing sound and experiencing music is, is, is more important than ever in an interesting way. It's almost as though as everything becomes more easily available in digital form, the act of, of gathering in space and exploring the sonic quality of space and, uh, is, is, uh, as, a, as a social um, event um, or as a personal event is, is more powerful probably than it's ever been. So one component of our, of our support in that is the event that's happening here tonight, which is the... Uh, Music After Hours program series created by one of our former residents, Daniel Neumann, where he invites um, people to explore the, the physical space of iBeam to think about the, the resonant qualities of this old warehouse out in West Chelsea in New York and ex explore those qualities and create sound specifically for this space and sort of tune the space itself uh, uh, to that sound. So, um, again, it's it's it's... As everything else that happens here, it, it's about about people. It's about opening up the the technology and the ideas behind the art to the culture at large, and um, it's really uh, an important way of acknowledging the importance of of being together in the same sonic space. That's a personal interest of mine. Um, I studied electronic music for years. Uh, in, in grad school and then did post-grad work in Holland. I, I am a sound artist myself, at least um, when I'm not working here, which is uh, less and less um, every year, it seems. But, um, but that's, that's my person, one of my personal interests, and um, it's something that is, is important to explore and um, is an area that IBEAM plans to, to look at a lot in, in the future as well. Hi, uh, my name is Daniel Neumann and I was a resident here at iBeam last spring and I started, besides developing my own work, I started also curating and organizing a show in this main space and the show is called CT SWAM which stands for Contemporary Temporary Soundworks and Music and it's a late night show of experimental music that incorporates space as part of the composition. And I started it because I just love the space and I love spatial sound and spa spatial work. Um, and to, to bring this interest of spatial music 
into a space that's open and very flexible. I think the, the biggest development uh, culturally with the advancing of the technology is that technology now is more available to people, to more people. Because in the 70s and 80s, you had to go to a big institution in order to realize works that you can now easily realize on your computer. So I think it opened up the possibility of creative output through electronic media to a much wider group of people. Um, and f the darker side or the, the, the downside of the technology development, I see that now programs are more and more geared to be easily, uh, like, to be user friendly, to to have presets that are already built, to have certain patterns that are easily loopable, and so instead of allowing real creative work, the artist becomes a preset, a, a preset chooser. Um, so that, that for me uh, is kind of like the critical moment in, in the, in the technolo technology development. But there are many programs where, or it also depends on the user, I guess, but there are definitely also many computer programs that allow completely free configuration. And yeah, I feel like it allowed more people to be able to produce and also to release their own works. I'm recording all the performances, but for me there's a big difference between experiencing a recording and experiencing a live concert situation. And unfortunately, people often believe by experiencing one thing, they experience the other. Uh, but I disagree on that also. So that's one mo motivation for myself to put in all this work and effort, is to create listening situations that are unique and special, like this place right behind me. <laughs>